Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers and welcome to my humble abode. Today we're going to be talking about the kind of gear that you can use for shooting videos with. Now I have a lot of experience because I've shot leet videos, yep, I think it's now 1,337 videos, as kindly pointed out by many, many of my wondrous viewers. Oh no! One of my dinosaurs has perished at the overwhelming awesomeness of these incredible new VPIX on top of my signature amplifier. Look, Rabia's on the phone. Right. Uh, so, what do we use for filming with? Well, I use a bunch of different things, and primarily, I suppose, if I'm shooting something posh, I use this wonderful SLR camera. This is a 650D. What lens is that, Beer? It's a 28 to 105 millimeter Canon ultrasonic lens with autofocus. Yeah! <laughs> that wasn't even rehearsed. I'm yeah. well impressed. <laughs> so, yeah, I use a bunch of different lenses, but SLRs give you a really sharp, beautiful image and they're great for shooting posh things, like if I've got a couch and I've got an app next to it and I've got a, sp a specific distance to shoot from, but they're not great on the autofocus because it goes which is really irritating. So I only use them for posh things. Thank you, Dor. Um, I also use what I'm filming with now, uh, which I'll show you now. So this, is a Panasonic HCV750 and as you can see it's pretty compact it's lightweight it's doing its thing it looks pretty funky it's got a really cool built-in microphone actually and more importantly it's a vlogging camera because uh, actually beer can you film this yes cheers brosk brosk <laughs> <laughs> so it's got a flip up screen which is really useful for, for a bunch of different things. Oh my God, multi-angle, ah, oh, click sync. So, because I've got a flip screen, I can see what I'm viewing easily, but also, if I'm filming, hey look, it's me. If I'm filming myself, I can do this, and I can see what I'm doing to the camera. So this is a blogging camera. This is the kind of thing that I'd go and say, hey, what's in Chapa's fridge? Like this, hey, what's in Chapa's fridge? Let's have a look. It's also Beer's fridge, and Hannah's fridge, and Natasha's fridge, and Dan's fridge. Fridge and blah blah blog things that are interesting about our fridge. The beer shelf, my shelf, my <laughs> shelf, my shelf, my shelf. <laughs> so it's a useful camera for blogging. The audio quality is pretty good, and the flip screen is the thing that you really need for that kind of personal walking around. Um, type of blog. It's very practical to have a handy cam camera. This one was quite expensive, but then I do it for a living, so it's kind of important to have a really good one. Next up is the thing that Ruby is using to film with. So this is an iPhone. Now iPhones are really, really great, especially this one. Uh, you can see how good the quality is. Oh, that's really weird. That's like Inception. Inception. Look, it's Ruby. it's Ruby beer. What do you call that? In Never mind. I'm putting you inside yourself. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> um, yeah, it's great because iPhones are really inconspicuous. You carry it everywhere with you. It's a blogging tool. You can phone people. You can phone people on it, which is really good. And the quality on the, the 5 is wicked, especially because I can go into here, go into my camera functions, and I've got slow-mo. That's the 5S, Robert. Yes, the 5S, sorry. It's better. So if I film Bezel being a dick real fast, do something real fast. That's great. That was the best thing you've ever done fast. If I stop that, and then, Rabia, can you play it back? <laughs> it does that slow-mo thing which is really cool but um it also just that's my one of my dogs it also just films really great quality and obviously it's an iphone so that's cool because we love mac products don't we youtube yeah so but then if you can't afford an slr i've got two of those they're expensive if you can't afford an iphone because they're expensive too and if you can't afford a really funky handy cam like i've got then maybe you can afford this 20 quid from Toys R Us. So this is a Vivitar, not Avatar, Vivitar DVR 508 HD from Toys R Us. 
I found this while I was purchasing these and a bunch of other things from Toys R Us. 20 quid of anybody's money is incredible. It's now, 8.1 megapixels. Right? Yes, I was going to get to the detailed specification. Full HD, 1080p, 4 times digital zoom, HD card, SD card. Uh, it's got a little flip screen, so it's a blogger. 8.1 megapixels. So, on the outside, it looks like it's a good camera. Now, here's something interesting about it. The way they've got this to be affordable is clearly Chinese manufacturing, but also, it runs on batteries, yo. <clears throat> now, you might think that's a really bad thing, and obviously, if you were to buy batteries like this, it is a really bad thing, but if you've got rechargeable batteries, then suddenly, it's pretty handy, because it's 20 quid, rechargeable batteries you can find anywhere, and I have been in a situation before where I've left my the charger for this camera, for example, somewhere, Dojo, and not been able to shoot with it, which is a real pain in the ass. But with a, a camera that takes batteries, well, wherever you are, you can buy a battery, so you're fine. So I think this could be a winner. Plus, for 20 quid, you can do a lot of things with a camera for 20 quid that you wouldn't want to do with a camera for a lot more. Like this. Yeah, we're filming, bro. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm being vivitard. Yeah. That's I'm absolutely incredible. Now the one thing is, you can't flip the screen around to blog with. So, I mean, this is me. How you doing? But uh, but you can't you can't flip it to uh, to film anything. But what you can do is stuff like this. Biff. Hey Rob, how you doing? I want to throw you something. All right, bro. Oh yeah, that totally works. <laughs> Let's do it somewhere else more fun. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell that it's not a bad visual, it's just the audio is not great for 20 quid, but then what do you get? You spend 20 quid. Well, I can't believe that still managed to fill. <laughs> I have that. Yeah. So, um, obviously the audio on this thing is awful, you'd want a mic up separately and use a little mic pre into your laptop using GarageBand or something, but just for the sake of just fun, here's how it sounds on, uh, yeah, on thing. Hey dudes, so I think you'll agree that with £20 and a little bit of editing know-how, tweaking the audio, making it a little bit brighter, making the colours a bit more saturated, actually the Toys R Us Mega Cam does a pretty good job for a blogging camera. Um, I mean, I, if I was absolutely pushed and I had to get something and I had it around, I'd use it. So there you go, 20 quid. Now you've seen that I have three cameras I regularly use, an iPhone, an SLR and a Handycam from Panasonic. This is my sign out. Which of those do you think I'm signing out with? Take it easy. I've been Rob Chappers. Chappers. <laughs>